back guys for another unboxing video and today we're gonna be unboxing the Cryorig A40 now this is a all-in-one liquid cooling solution for your computer and yeah as you can see it's still sealed on the box and I still haven't opened it yet so that you can see it firsthand with me now this cooling solution supports the 2066 socket 2011 v3 1366 1150 1151 1155 and 1156 and can also support am4 socket am3 plus or am3 am2 or am2 plus fm1 or fm2 now we're here already so we'll see all the specs so the radiator dimension is length 272 by width 120 by height to 27.5 millimeter and uh, it is an aluminum the I mean the radiator is aluminum and the pump dimension with fan is 88 by 88 by 116.2 millimeter and uh, with the pump or with the fan without the fan it's 88 by 88 by 52.8 millimeters so you only will get a difference with the height if you put the fans which I will show you later for the tube length we have 350 millimeter and the tube diameter is 10 millimeter so you get the pretty thick uh, tubes with this and uh, for the fan model we have QF120 performance fans and the dimensions is 120 by 120 by 25.4 millimeters so yeah as you can see this is a 120 millimeter fan and uh, the fan noise level is 13 and 237 decibels fan airflow is 83 CFM so for the fan pressure it's 3.33 millimeters per H2O oxygen I think <laughs> I don't know you tell me guys for the fan amp here is 0.34 amps now all of this are just your fan informations and moving on to the front it says here it has a patent pending airflow fan cools components increases stability and the latest in cooling tech liquid cooling done, done right <laughs> sorry <laughs> next is the fast and easy installation get started in five minutes oh so we'll see how fast the, um, we can install the a4d into our build today and uh, yeah that's it and it's made in china as you can see and yeah let's start opening this one so for the hybrid liquid cooling to work I think they put in the added fan on the pump so it will add more circulation within the motherboard itself and I think it's a way to disturb the disrupt the all of the heat coming from the motherboard so overall all of your components will be cooled and yeah okay let's dive in with the unboxing Okay, so let's open this box with a cutter. Let's remove the ceiling plastic first. So, headset warning. <laughs> Okay, let's open it. So first hand, register your product and to receive extended three years warranty. Okay. So it, as you can see, there's a protective cover right there. And oh, there we go. So here we see the two 2,200 RPM 
PWM fans, white, white fans, and I think they're pretty standard when it comes to size, but they're quite tall or as maybe normal size, I think. But on the side here where you put the screws in, it has a rubber padding, so less vibration means less noise. And this is now the 3000 RPM fan, which will go into your pump, which I will show you later on. But this serves as your uh, extra cooling for your motherboard and with the pump itself. So you'll see, uh, you'll figure it out the function of this one later on. So, but here there's two tabs, which I know most of you already figured out that this one could be an exhaust or an intake whether to push or to pull air into or out from the pump itself and uh, let's go to the radiator and pump so here are the goodies the, that they come from come with so these are everything that you will need for your Intel and AMD installation. All the screws are here, so and the manual are here, so you can open them if you want. But for me, I think it's just going to be the basic stuff that you'll need for installation. Let's put the box to the side. Let's check out the pump. So moving on to the pump. We have a braided tubes with all the wires here, okay? But as you can see, it has a copper plate on the bottom that comes in contact with your um, CPU. And it's already pre-applied with thermal paste, so you don't need to put in any more thermal paste and yeah. Don't want to remove the plastic yet because I don't want anything to, or I don't want to touch. And it, it has a cryo rig logo on the side. So two sides. And here it is. So this is the one that you see that you see on the first part when I showed you this fan. So there is no statics, like it's like plain black. So for all, for all of you who are looking to not, not a flashy RGB liquid cooling solution, so this might be your choice. And this could go either as an intake. Come on. There you go. So you just have to pull in these tabs. So there, it locks into place. So it becomes an intake which blows air through your pump or to your pump and yeah, you can reverse that. But I like it this way because the logo is here and just to, for you to remove it, just pull in the plastic tabs right here and you can reverse it. So it could be an exhaust to pull out hot air from the pump or from the motherboard itself again. So it helps in cooling and uh, you can sneak in the cables through these holes which goes right into here. So you don't need an extra motherboard header for this fan, it just goes into here and all the cables here is powered by, or I think the pump is powered by this um, SATA port. So you'll need an extra SATA port on your case for, or from your power supply for that case. And I think this one is the one that will go to your um, motherboard CPU cooling pins are here. And uh, the two fan headers, I think, for the two fans. So you'll get that option to control all of them on the CPU fan and let's now look at the aluminum fins or aluminum radiator. So it has a pretty pretty light design and 
yeah, it's made from aluminum, so it's quite light. It has a good thickness to it. I think it has, it can hold, mm, I don't know, it did not say how many ml of liquid it holds inside there, so yeah, that's it. And the fans are quite flexible, are, or the tubes are quite flexible, so there won't be any problems on placing them. And uh, yeah, but now it's on a fixed position, it's, it only goes into one way. Sorry about the background noise, guys. So this one is not flexible, like you can move them around like the other ones, but it's pretty solid. It goes onto a, like a 45 degree angle, so you won't get it in the way in the installation. So we'll see about that. And uh, that's it for the unboxing of the A40 from Cryoreg. I hope you enjoyed this video and yeah, see you again next time guys. Peace out.